This month, the theme of all the Spellbinders Kid Clubs are based on stitching, sewing, and handmade items. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel, and in today's video, I'll be sharing with you the new Spellbinders Better Press Kit Club, Stencil Kit Club, Stamps and Dyes Kit Club, Embossing Folder, and 3D Embossing Folder, as well as the Wax Seal Kit of the Month, and the stitching die of the month. And all of these new clubs have items like scissor images, needles and thread, and cross stitch images. So if you like to add a homespun look to your cards, this is the video for you. Let's start by taking a quick look at all of these kits. First, we have the clear stamps and dies. I love the larger sentiments that look like they're stitched and there's dies to cut those out. Then there's a bunch of sub sentiments. There's a cross stitched heart, a handmade with scissors and other sentiments. This is the Glimmer Kit Club of the month. You get a bunch of long borders, which are stitches, several sentiments, and then there's a die that's a curved flag that you can use to cut those sentiments out. So let me just show you how the Glimmer Kit works real quick. I'm using all of those stitched line borders on one piece of A2 cardstock, and I'm using the foil that I received with the kit. Sometimes they change out the color, but this is the color that I received. Now I'll do one of the stitch lines with a bunch of the sentiments. So I'll use a couple of different foil colors and I'll use a couple of different cardstock colors as well so that I have a variety to work with. I like to do all my glimmer at one time or foiling. These are the better press elements from this month and I like to use my better press plates with the better press and also with the glimmer machine. So I just wanted to share that this is a favorite way to get more bang for your buck from me. Here you can see the sentiments. I'll be able to cut out those sentiments with the curved flag and those stitches. I can just cut those out with my trimmer if I want or just use them as is. Here are the better press plates glimmered. They come out absolutely gorgeous. I love the scissors foiled. I think those are so pretty. Here's that flag that I mentioned that you can cut out those curved sentiments with and the better press comes with dies as well. This is the craft stacks. I shared it in my last video. This is the ability to organize some of your items while you're in mid project. Here is the stitching die of the month and this is the better press kit of the month. So you saw a little bit of that in the glimmer, but I just wanted to share this is a registration better press kit, which means that there is a way to do a two-tone look to that embroidery spool. So you tape down the registration card, which is like an acetate with the image on it, and then you place one of the better press plates down that is part of the image. This one I'm using Thunder, which is kind of a nice gray ink, and then flip over your cardstock on the clear plate and run it through your die cut machine. Now, keep the cardstock where it is, wipe off the clear acetate, take off that first die, and lay the second die. It doesn't matter which order you do them in, they're always going to be perfectly lined up because that acetate is staying taped down to your magnet base there. I'm also using some of the sentiments so that I can get a couple of those better pressed as well and I'll use those with some black ink. After placing this second part of the image, place the cardstock back and run it through the die cut machine and you'll have a two-toned or two-colored image. Here are a couple of the other elements that you can better press. There's scissors, another sentiment, a thimble as well. So I have a couple of different colors of those. And then here are the dies that you can use to cut those images out. This is the stencil kit club of the month. It's hard to see on these stencils, but you're going to be able to create those embroidery flaws 
gloss bundles. This is the wax seal kit of the month. You can see it creates that little cross stitch heart along with a needle and the thread looped through it. And here are the wax beads that I received with this kit. They are called Cloudy Sky. So I'll just show you real quickly the wax seals that you can do with this new color and the new stamp. And I'll place the rest of that cloudy sky into one of my favorite spellbinders organizers to keep those wax beads organized and in place while the beads are melting in the spoon on top of my little tea light there. So now I'll get this nice and fast so that you don't have to actually watch the wax melt. That's not fun. Although I find this whole process very soothing. I've said it before. I find it very relaxing creating these. So I always just create a couple while I have it out. And once you have it poured out onto the silicone mat, then just place down that wax seal stamp. Don't press it down. Wait until it fully dries and then peel off the wax seal stamp and then the wax seal itself will peel off the back of the silicone as well. So I, like I said, like to do a couple of different colors or mixes so that I can have a few ideas of different colors to work with and color combinations that I can make my cards with with the rest of the items from the other kits. Love this color here. I'll link to the colors that I used down below in the YouTube description box under the video. And again, just place that wax seal stamp. Don't press it down. Wait until it dries. Peel it off. And I haven't used white in a long time, so I thought this would be a fun one to do in white. And of course, it's going to be a little difficult to see, but we'll fix that up with a little bit of a paint pen marker. So pour that out and then place that that wax seal once again and just let that dry completely or cool completely and then you've got four beautiful wax seals that you can use on cards and I love having all of these different colors and I love this image I think it's really cute so these are a couple of paint pens from Marvi Ukaida and I'm just running the paint pen tip over the raised edges of the wax seal. You can see this one, I think I need a new one. It's a little dry, but that's okay. And I love the rose gold on the white. It really helps it stand out. I did all the needles in silver so that they would look like real sewing needles. Doesn't take long at all. Just go a little slowly so you don't get it into the base of the wax seal. For the 3D embossing folder of the month, I like to use the Mighty Mister from Spellbinders to get the cardstock a little wet and then place it inside the 3D embossing folder. It's a really cool pattern with needles and thread and use the adapter plate from the universal plate system. If you have an older version of the the Spellbinders Platinum, just grab the adapter plate system separately, or you can, of course, grab the new Spellbinders Platinum and it comes with that. This is the regular embossing folder of the month, so you don't need that adapter plate. There's another sandwich that you can run for that embossing folder. Look at that gorgeous pattern. I absolutely love embossing folders. They are super affordable. They can be used a million times over. They create a nice subtle background, but it has lots of interest as well. I also like to emboss a bunch of different colors of cardstock so I have them to work with. Here is the stitching die and you can see that you can cut out a large oval and I've cut mine out of a craft color of cardstock and then there's an oval that does an embossing onto that cardstock and I use that right on the craft and then I cut out some alabaster cardstock and I'll layer that on top. So basically I'm creating an embroidery hoop here. Now here are some of the flowers that you can stitch to create that look of a stitched embroidery hoop and there are some flowers that don't have stitching or smaller items that you can use. There's a for you sentiment that I've cut in mirror gold. There's a little high tag that I've cut in mirror gold but you can see the large flower, the smaller flower, and the leaf all have little elements and the centers of those flowers all have little elements of stitching. 
which means there's not much stitching to this, but you could do more flowers. You could die cut more flowers and have more stitching on it if you so choose. I thought this was plenty and I'm adhering the smaller flower center right down to that smaller flower. For the larger flower center, I stitched it right onto the flower itself. That just seemed easier to me to do for that one. Now I have a little bit of liquid glue with the My Sweet Petunia Precision Glue Press and I'll place that behind the leaves and stems. This is especially good because it's nice strong glue that you can use behind thread or if you end your thread with a piece of scotch tape you can also use it on that scotch tape and it will still adhere down. Here's a little swirl that I cut out of the gold mirror cardstock and I just placed that at the top kind of like a little hook and then I have one of the glimmer sentiments that I die cut with that wavy flag and it says you are so amazing which I think is just such a cute sentiment. I've placed that embroidery hoop on an embossed background with the embossing folder and then I'm using a wax seal too. So this has several kit clubs combined all in one card and I love that they all work together so well. So if you do get them all or if you want to get more than one they often work together very well like this. Here I have the better press that I used with the glimmer machine. So they're foiled images. I'm wrapping thread around this gold better press little thread holder here. And then I have a gold thimble and a gold scissors. And then I have a sentiment that's actually from the stamp set. So I stamped it and it also came with a die. So I cut that out. That allows me to pop all of these elements up. On the background is that 3D embossing folder with the needles and thread. Here I'm going to do something similar. I have this silver that I used foiling of the better press and I'm wrapping silver string around this little embroidery thread holder. I also have that popped up on some foil home squares from Spellbinders and I'll place that right in the middle of my card. Now I have that wax seal with the cloudy skies wax beads. I'm cutting it down so that it is just a tiny little seal around that circle and the rest of the seal I'll just trim off because it'll fit really nicely on that embroidery thread. Now I have the scissor, I'll place that behind the embroidery thread and the little wax seal on top. And I have a sentiment on some dark blue cardstock that I'll place underneath that. That was from the glimmer kit and cut out with that little wavy flag die. I love how all these elements really come together. Now let me show you how to put together the stencils. There are five stencils in this set. They all work together. They have little corners that are sort of etched into each of the stencil and they have a number. So I'm using number one and I use the little corners to line it up with the A2 piece of white cardstock. I'm going to create a rainbow so I want to remember to skip every other color because the second stencil has the second and fourth and fifth. So this will make sense. Here we go. As we go to the second stencil, I'll use those corners to line it up. And now I can fill in the rainbow with the orange, the green, and the purple. I'm using Catherine Pooler inks and Catherine Pooler blending brushes to add these colors. This is the newer frosted color, that purple, it's so pretty. This next stencil has the look of the threads. So I'm using a slightly darker color of each of the colors that I've already laid down. A slightly darker pink, a slightly darker orange, and so on. You can see that I'm using a grip mat, but I have tape as well. I needed to clean up my eight and a half by eight and a half grip mat. So I'm using a smaller size and there just wasn't enough margin around it to have the stencil stuck down as well. That's why I'm using the tape. All right, so this is the Catherine Pooler Slate ink. I didn't want to use full on black, but these labels tend to be black. So I thought this was a perfect compromise so that I could have that black look, but not be so, so black. 
I'm also using the gold ink, which is a pigment ink, and that gold is also part of the label. So I think these look exactly like the typical embroidery thread bundles that you can purchase at a big box store. So I'll peel that one off, and now I'm gonna use a little fixative. I'm gonna do that off camera because I like to do it either in a large window or outside completely. That's just going to hold that gold pigment ink in place. I have the happy of the stitched happy that is from the stamp set and I've popped it up by cutting out some white fun foam so that I can layer those on top of each other. I'll place the stenciled background which is cut down to four by five and a quarter on an A2 piece of black cardstock and then I'll pop up the sub sentiment which is also from the stamp set that says birthday. This was such a fun one to create. I love the idea of a rainbow of colors and it just is a very happy looking card. For this next card, I'm using the embossing folder as the background. I have some of the glimmer strips that I created borders from and cut down into little strips as the top and bottom with those stitches. I think it looks so cool. And then I have some stamped images. Those are the hearts. A better press image, that's the scissors. And then the sentiment is from the glimmer kit that says stitched with love. And I love that you can cut all of these out with matching dies because then you can use little foam squares and pop them up. Gives you a little bit more interest on the card which already has that embossed background and the foiling as well. For this one, I used the 3D embossing folder to create the background. It's got those needles and thread and I've used a pink piece of cardstock. This sentiment is from the Better Press kit. So I've just cut it down to a strip that will go all the way across the card. It says best stitches on your birthday. I have the little better press thimble and the better press that we used with the registration acetate to create a two color image. So that was just a really fast card to create once I had all those pieces. This is that 3D embossed background as well. This time I have some Cosmic Sky cardstock and some white pigment ink. Don't press down on the white pigment ink, just lightly, lightly go across and it will just show up on those raised images. Here I have the piece of foiling that I had all those stitches, so I cut it down down into little strips. I'm gonna use one of those little strips on this card. I'm just gonna use it all the way across the card and then fold the edges on the back. And I just needed a little more adhesive there because of course there wasn't enough. Here are the wax seal adhesive circles. These are great for adhering down those wax seals. I absolutely love them. They don't come in the kits, so grab them separately. They make it so easy to adhere down these wax seals to your projects, and they come like a ton in a small little package. I'm still using the first package that I purchased. Here's the little sentiment that says, thanks for all you do, and I tucked little scissors behind that as well. I hope you can tell how much Fun I had with these new kit clubs. I'd love to hear if something caught your eye this month. Let me know in the comments below. Some of the book themed kit clubs from last month are now available as individual purchases. So I'm gonna link to that video here so you can check it out. As always, I wanna thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. Some of the book themed, some of the book themed, <laughs> Some of the book themed, <laughs> I don't know what the next word is, book themed kit clubs from last month. Okay.